Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to draw a mug and in 3D. So here is the mug that I'm going to draw and you can see the ellipse at the top. This is how much I can see and where the shadow is on this mug. So I'm going to show you how to draw this on the paper. So to start with, I'm going to put a centre line in the middle of my page, which is roughly where I want to draw my cup. So you put a centre line. Obviously, you're going to do this a lot lighter than me. This is just a construction line, which I'm going to rub out later on. And then I'm going to start thinking about this ellipse at the top. So it's not a total circle. So I'm going to mark roughly where I think it's going to go and how wide I think this object is. So I think I'm going to bring it in a little bit so I've got space for there. And then I'm going to start to draw this ellipse. So you want to use sweeping motions. You might not get it right the first time. And then you can choose the best line. And then you want to, if I look at this mug as well, it the curve at the bottom is actually smaller than the curve at the, the ellipse at the top. So I'm going to draw these lines down, taper them down slightly, and that will give me how I should draw the circle at the bottom. So I'm going to draw it like this. Nice tall mug. Something like that, maybe not quite as long. Maybe I'll bring it up to here. So that's a good thing about doing guidelines. And then so now I'm ready to do this ellipse here. And it is roughly gonna be this the same kind of ellipse. Like this one, can you see? So you wouldn't see this part of the circle here. So I can now rub that out now that I have the other part. And I can rub this part out here. So now what I've got is this part here. And now I've got to think about how I'm going to draw this handle. So I'm going to roughly mark where that goes here and here. And the curve, which is roughly about here. So it kind of comes down here and comes up here and comes down to here. You can also use your pencil for the angles to check that you've got the right angles for your drawing. And then you're going to start putting the thicknesses in once you've got So then we're doing the inside of the handle which comes out after the curve. And then we've got the top of the handle here, which comes round. And actually, I think this is a, a lot skinnier here. So I'm just going to put that one a little bit skinnier. And then, and then you can always rub out the lines that you don't like. Okay, and now we're going to look at this curve here because we can see more of the rim as it comes around. So we're also going to put a little bit of this curve in here. Follow it around, then it 
disappears as it gets towards the look. Yeah. Okay, so this is how you draw the cup. Obviously, you don't need this anymore once you've got the shapes in. But as you can see, that looks quite level. And then, then you can start to think, okay, where does the shadow go? So for this cup, it's around about here. And we've got a nice curve to this shadow. Um, and just ever so slightly around here as well. So then you can start to say, okay, there's also a shadow in, in the inside of this mug as well. And then you can start to shade these things in or use your charcoal or whatever medium you're using and start to make things dark. Now, the softer your pencil, the darker you can get the pencil to be. It might take a few layers to get the darkness that you need. I'm using a 9B, which is really quite dark, but also if this, if I want this to be a pitch black shadow, I would add a lot more of like another layer of this to make it even darker. So you might have to go over things more than once. Now where the shadow touches is going to be darker as well. The shadow touches is called the touch line. So you can see here where the shadow touches the bottom of the cup, it's also going to be a bit dark. And then let's start on the inside of the cup as well. So we've got this dark area here. I'm also seeing as I come to the rim of the cup here, it's actually got a highlight on it, so I don't want to go right to the edge with this dark area. Okay. It's going to be darkest around this rim here, but then as it gets towards the other side where the highlight is, it's going to get slightly lighter. Applying less pressure around here as it gets to the rim. So you can see there's a gradual pressure there. Good. So now we can see the other side is a lot lighter. So I'm just going to change to a two. Is that? Oh, this is a five B, and and this is just going to give me a lighter shadow, and it means that I don't have to press too lightly, like I would have to with the 9B pencil. So I'm just going to do a slight shadow across here, because it's still a shadow in this cup. And notice how I'm, I'm keeping with the curve of the cup for my lines. Don't be afraid to overlap between your darkest areas and your medium areas to make a smooth transition. And then this is where you also have to look carefully because there's actually um, quite a lightness that comes into this cup. So I'm going to gradually fade this out to white. Shadow around around the rim because the body of this cup of this mug is quite dark. I'm just gonna darken this here and highlight that and then we can 
have a look at the shadow. So I would say the main area of darkness is this area here and it gets ever so slightly lighter towards here. So I'm going to put this in quite dark. Try and keep all your shading in a similar direction and this is going to give you a smoothness to your shading. And then coming the other way, I'm gradually going to get lighter as I go towards this direction here. Okay. And now for the handle. Um, what you can do is just look at where the dark areas are. So I'm going to start on this side where the mug kind of, the handle touches the mug. And as it comes round, it's also a shadow as it's tucking under. Dark shadow. As it comes here. So there's going to be a bright highlight here because of, of the brightness of the highlight on there. So I'm going to leave that mainly white. And then we've got the darkness here. And in the middle as it, as it comes away from the light. And then at this side, there's a dark shadow as well. So there you can, there you have it. That's um, what you need to do to create a mug. So thinking about the lips, thinking about the center line, making sure that things are the right width, and then thinking about where the shadows lie and try and get gradual transitions between shades using a range of soft pencils. <laughs>